Well, hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? And so welcome to another one of my tutorials. And so in today's tutorial, we'll be dealing with the PS4 once again. And so what I'll be going over with you on, guys, is how you can take a PS2 ISO and convert it over into an installable PS4 package file. So that way you can play PS2 games on your PS4. Uh, so the uh, game we'll be working with today, guys, I have... Um, this game here, Castlevania, uh, Lament of Innocence. I've already uh, got this DVD right here ripped onto my computer, guys, to save time. So uh, let's just go ahead, jump on the computer, guys, and let's get going with this. Yeah, buddy. Okay, guys, so there's basically two things that you're going to need to have in order to get this done. Uh, actually, four if you want to uh, customize your, your game. That's totally up to you. Uh, but first of all, you, you're definitely gonna need this program here, guys. The PS2 to FPKG program. This is, this is what's gonna be um, used to convert your ISO into a FPKG installable file for your PS4. Second of all, you're gonna need a game, of course. Um, whether you rip your CD, DVD, download it online, whatever you wanna do, you need a game. And I have two pictures here, guys. I got a thumbnail picture that I'm gonna use for my game and a background image that I'm gonna use. And let me go to the web uh, web browser here, guys. And so this is where you're gonna pick up your program from, guys. It's a mega site. You just come over here, hit this uh, nice pretty green download tab here and get it downloading and you're, you're all good, okay? Um, as for the pictures, guys, uh, I just typed this in for my picture. This is my thumbnail here that I'm going to use right here. And my PS2 logos I'm um, use for my background image, something like that. Okay. And games, I really can't show you where to get games, guys. I can't show you that. Um, wish I could, but you know, you know how all these corporations are. But anyway, um, let's go in. Let's get right into this, guys. Open our program up. It's really simple to use, guys. Really simple. Uh, I don't use, I don't mess with anything else in here, guys. Uh, the emulator settings, graphic settings, remote play, or extras, or whatever. I don't mess with none of this stuff. I haven't really gotten into it. Uh, I don't think you need to really mess with anything in here. I really don't. So we're gonna be loading up our uh, ISO right here. And what's cool, guys, is if you have a a PS2 game that has multiple discs. I mean, you can add up to five discs in here. So that that's really cool. So this one right here is only one disc, so I don't have to worry about none of these other ones, but you just sit here and just select whatever disc you want in these right here if you got multiple disc game, whatever. All right, so here we go. There's my ISO there, we're gonna load it up. There you go. Make sure everything is correct here, guys. Um, you can label this whatever you want. Whatever is down here, guys, for the title, that's what's going to show up on your PS4 as the title of your game. Okay? <clears throat> and then you got your icon image right here and your background image here. So we're going to select my thumbnail here. Uh, where is it at? There it is right there. We'll load it up. And by the way, they can be JPG, PNG files. It doesn't matter. I've, I've worked with both and both work. So, And there's my background image there. And so now, guys, we'll just uh, come down here to create FPKG. And that is it. <laughs> simple, guys. Very simple to do. Very simple. I have come across... A uh, couple of games that went black screen um, and one that was kind of messed up like you know just all met the screens messed up or whatever but very uh, out of all I mean it's not many though guys I mean I've just come across a couple that's it and I've got quite a few on my PS4 now so let's go ahead and create this package file and get it over with how about that Alright, so this is this is gonna ask you where you want it to actually uh, 
be created and I'm gonna create it to the desktop Hit OK Hit OK and you're good and just sit here and let it do its thing guys all right so now it popped up over here so this is gonna take a minute but a box will come up saying it's been done whatever you know it's finished so let's jump over uh, to the ps4 guys uh, and I'll show you uh, see, show you how it works all right okay guys so first thing we're gonna do is head up to settings and we're gonna get to installing this bad boy we'll go up to gold hen here package installer and there's our game right there so this is going to take a minute guys i'm just going to skip this part over real quick okay guys so it's done let's back out of this and go check our game out there it is right there so let's try it out real quick see how she runs there's my background image In an era long past, as monarchies weaken, local feudal lords grew in power. The first knights simply protected their lords' domains. However, with the reforms of the late 11th century, knights became... I'm gonna skip this part, guys, real quick. What just happened? I felt something strange. Ah, he must really like you. You won't be able to leave now. Who's there? Now, don't get so excited. I'm just an old man. I just came to gawk at the man crazy enough to come here. You don't seem like a monster. <laughs> of course not. What is your name? Leon. Leon. You're not Baron Leon Belmont. Just Leon Belmont. Okay, so I'm gonna skip title. this part over too, guys. I wanna show you a little bit of gameplay you? on it. It runs great. I mean, it runs really smooth. Sarah, wait for me. I'm coming to save you.
So I haven't played this in a while. Um, I actually forget which way to go. Uh, I do. I do remember I had to kill um, five monsters right here, like that, and I couldn't. Let's see. Can I go up here? Nah. See, I gotta fight the five monsters before I do that. I actually have not beat this game yet. I've gotten to the you know, the end boss. But I've never beaten it. Uh, Curse of Darkness, I have beaten it. And Curse of Darkness is actually my favorite one. Out of two. But... I just tried that earlier. And... I think I mentioned this on the computer about a game kind of glitching up and stuff. That was the game that was glitching up. And yeah, it, it sucked. That's one of my favorite games. I, I, yeah. I, I teared up on that one. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I mean, the music, the music in Curse of Darkness is so great. So great. Okay, well y'all get the point. It, it runs great. Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with this game at all. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop the game here, guys, and uh, we'll put it in my in my folder real quick. PS2 games, these are the PS2 games that I've done so far. They work great. There's two games that really hurt me, guys. Um, Mo um, Capsule Monster Coliseum is a UGO game. I really wanted that on here. Uh, it, it really, I got teary eyed on that one. It didn't work. But I do have. I do have this one, Duelist of the Roses, which is, that's going to have to do. And Curse of Darkness, guys, I couldn't get it to run either. So those two games, I, could, I couldn't get. So we, we're definitely going to put the uh, Lament, uh, Lament of Innocence on there in this folder. It deserves a spot, guys. So that's what we're going to do. There she is. Awesome guys, this is this is really 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 cool. I would recommend if you have a jailbroken PS4 to you know get some of your PS2 favorite PS2 games up and do this guys. This is really awesome. It really is. So that's that guys. Uh I hope this helped you out getting some uh PS2 games up and going. So I'm gonna end it here guys. Once again, I said it, I think, twice already. <laughs> but anyway, that's it, guys. Y'all have a good one. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, look out for some more of my tutorials, my Let's Plays, or what the heck I get myself in, into, guys. All right? Y'all take it easy. Never stop gaming. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, yeah.